Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 8th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at pushing and pulling columns. Alright then guys, so we've seen in the last tutorial how we can offset columns and we can also do another thing called pushing a column or pulling a column to the right or left. Now, at first glance you might think these are pretty similar and they are a little bit similar, however, um, there is quite a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick example here. You can see I've just got this fluid container, then I've got a row, then I've got two elements in it. And what I'm saying is at small screens or extra small screens, I want each element to have a width of 12 columns, so they're taking up the full width. Then at medium sized screens, we're going to have six columns each, so half and half. Then on large screens, I want the first one to be eight columns in width on the left and the second one to be four columns in width on the right. Okay, so the idea is that this is the main content and this is going to be some kind of sidebar. All right, so let's save that and uh, just take a look in a browser if I refresh. So this is on mobiles where they're currently 12 columns each in width, so they're taking up the full width of the browser. Then when we get to medium sized screens, they're going to take up six columns each, so they're equally spaced on each side next to each other. Then when we get to large screens, the content area goes to eight columns, so it's bigger than the sidebar, which goes to four columns, okay? Now, all this is fine, but I wanna do a quick change to the layout. So I'm okay with this for mobiles, and I'm okay with this for kind of tablets and laptops or whatever, but when we get to large screens like this, where the content is bigger, I want the content to be on the right side and the sidebar area to be on the left side. Now, I can do this via pushing and pulling using the CSS classes that Bootstrap provides us with, all right? Don't ask me why I wanna make this change, <laughs> I just wanna do it, just to demonstrate to you guys. So let's head back into the code. And what we need to do is apply some classes to these things right here. So what I wanna do is push this element over to the right. Rule of thumb is if we're pushing, we're moving elements to the right. If we're pulling, we're pulling elements to the left, okay? So we wanna move this right because it's currently on the left on large screens, so we wanna push it by four columns to the right. So I'll say col lg for large, push hyphen four. Okay, so I'll save that, and this is what it does. So this is it currently, one second. This is it on large screens. So what I'm saying is I wanna take this thing right here, which is eight columns in width, and I wanna push it to the right, okay, by four columns. Now this is four columns in width, so it's gonna go right to the end Okay, so the content area is now gonna be over here like this, all right? So let's refresh it, and now we can see. It's all there like that. Now you can't currently see it because this sidebar area is on the right as well, and it's covering up the content area. So what we need to do is grab this one, and we need to pull it right back over here. And what I wanna do is pull it back by eight columns because this content area is eight columns in width, isn't it? So we need to pull it right back to the start over here, which is eight columns away. So let's head back to the CSS and go to this element and we'll say call LG for large hyphen push, oh sorry, pull, because we're pulling it to the left. Then we want to pull it by eight columns. So let's save that and have a look in a browser. And kaboom, there we go. So now we've rearranged the order of the elements for large screens. But if we go back down to desktop, oh sorry, laptop sizes or tablets, then it currently goes back to the content area on the left and the sidebar on the right. But up on large screens, they switch around. Okay, pretty cool. Now there's one little thing you need to be careful of, okay? It's not showing up here because we've only applied it to the large size screen. But if I go back to the code and if I then get rid of these two classes we just added and say this time, I want the order to change when it's at the medium size screen, okay? So currently, this is gonna be first, okay? On the small screens, or extra small screens, then this second, so this is gonna be on top of that. Then when we get to the medium size screens, I want the content area then to be on the right, and I want the sidebar on the left. So what we do, we push over the content area, oops, sorry, uh, call MD, push, and we wanna push it six to the right because each one is six, yeah? And then what we wanna do is pull this one, so call MD, pull six to the left. So let's save that and see what it does in the browser. So currently, it's okay here, the content area is on top, sidebar area at the bottom. Then when we get to here, what I want to happen is for these two to switch, okay? So if I refresh now, oops, that's not quite worked. 
What's happened? MD. Oh, I've done MS instead of MD. Okay. What a spoon. All right, there we go. Now they've switched. Okay, so now the content area is on the right, sidebar on the left. But if we carry on onto large screens, you see what's happened there? Those pushing and pulling effects are still taking effect. Okay, so we need to clear them off or get rid of them. So what we'll do is head back now to the code and we'll say call LG push zero. So we're resetting that push value, okay? Because currently it's six. And then when we get to large on this one, we'll say call LG pull zero. Save that out. And then hopefully this should revert back to the original one. Yep, that's cool. So this time the content's on the left, sidebar back on the right. But still, when we go to medium sized screens, we still get that switch around, okay? So my friends, that is pushing and pulling in a nutshell. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.